Comatory Minister Walter Mzembe has blamed Mtulinoe for failing to tame sparing prices of basic commodities which are militating against President Mnangagwa's re-election bid for a second and final term. In recent week, the value of Zimbabwe's local currency has dropped dramatically by the day. This has seen prices of basic commodities rising with retailers demanding USD for goods and services, putting pressure on government to restore stability, albeit Nguwe's firefighting policies, which have not yet yielded any positive results. A 10 kg of red seal super roller mill now cost 27,999, up from an average of 4,800. Commenting on the rising costs, exiled former Foreign Affairs Minister Otam Zembe laid the blame solely on Nguwe for expediting Nangagwa's exit ahead of impending 2023 harmonized elections. This is your problem. The incompetence of this man. I put it squarely and honestly to you, Mr. President. Emerson Nangago. Kuti. Mungape Zawan Vese Mujitende Kamakanangarani election. Jindarenu Idrakonio. You might blame an endless rest of culprits, but your henchmen has failed dismally, wrote Muzembe on Twitter. Curiously, price increases are coming with elections due in August in Mnangagwa through his column in a state-owned weekly newspaper he has warned saboteurs risks losing operating licenses for unilaterally hiking prices of basic commodities. Interestingly, Nwe is seeking election in Blawayo's Caldery Park constituency where he has promised to uplift life loads of suffering constituents. Even in his own backyard, Nwe appreciates residents have yet their local currents very eroded with most failing to buy basic goods which are now beyond their reach. The free flow of the local currency has left many who earn their wages in local currents vulnerable. By the time of publishing, a dollar was officially pegged at 1,500, while it fetched 2,950 on the black market. The collapse of the Zimbabwe dollar has forced many locals to survive from hand to mouth. Information Minister Morgan Kamchangwa recently told the media cabinet was concerned by the spiraling prices of basic commodities, especially bread, flour, cooking oil, and mealy meal. Government, she said, had opened borders for free importation of basic goods and assured the public that more measures were coming to ease the situation.